，请订阅、按赞、分享，开启小铃铛，即刻订阅《文倩世界周报》YouTube 频道。Defiant and denying his own defeat, President Trump answered questions for the first time since Election Day. It's going to be a very hard thing to concede. Because we know there was massive fraud. The president's legal team has not shown fraud or irregularities that would overturn the results. The Trump campaign and Republican candidates have filed three dozen lawsuits in six states since election day, but so far they've succeeded in getting a total of only about 600 votes thrown out. All of those in Pennsylvania. Most are involved in a very close state legislative race, not the presidential election. The campaign's federal case in Georgia was tossed out by Judge Stephen Grimberg. Now he was actually appointed just last year by President Trump. Yeah, I thank President Trump for nominating me. The judge said he was unwilling to. Block the certification of millions of votes. He said it would breed confusion and potential disenfranchisement. A state court judge in Michigan tossed out claims in a lawsuit that was filed there by two Republican poll challengers. They said several kinds of irregularities allowed invalid ballots to be counted. But Timothy Kenny, the chief judge of Wayne County Circuit Court, said those making the claims did not have a full understanding of the vote counting process and their interpretation of events. He said is incorrect and. Not credible. U.S. District Court Judge Matthew Braun said this court has been presented with strained legal arguments without merit and speculative accusations. 于是宾州在二十四号发出认证，宣布拜登以超过八万票拿下宾州二十张选举人票。The guardrails of our system actually worked, and that you had Republican state. Secretary of State in Georgia, for example, going against his party, many obviously the president and many in his party pushing him、uh, to、uh, not certify or to question the integrity of of the results in Georgia. You had. Today in Michigan, one abstention by a Republican, but the other Republican on the board voting to certify the election. You had judges who were appointed by Republicans pushing back on the lawsuits. And deeming them not credible and worthy, so we had multiple instances where we can look back and say, at the end of the day, Washington politicians may not have been particularly brave in stepping out and and saying what was clear to everybody at the time,、uh, but those in local office, those who、uh, mm. are are doing the job, the day to day job of keeping our democracy intact. 但是就在宾州正式认证拜登胜选隔天，又生变数。一位宾州联邦法官下令宾州不得认证拜登胜出。对此，宾州政府也立刻请求州最高法院驳回该名法官没有正当理由的命令。But no sign today that the president is backing down. Which I won, by the way. But you know, we'll find that out. But we won't. The election is over, and more Republicans are publicly acknowledging that. Senator Lisa Murkowski urging the president to stop waging a pressure campaign to overturn the results and to begin the full and formal transition process. And Trump confidant Chris Christie calling on the president to drop his court challenges. The conduct of the president's legal team has been a national embarrassment. Trump's campaign is now trying to. Distance itself from Attorney Sidney Powell after she peddled baseless conspiracy theories about voting machines and accused Georgia's Republican governor of crimes. What we are really dealing with here and uncovering more by the day is the massive influence of communist money through Venezuela, Cuba. And likely China. The campaign issued a statement saying Powell is not a member of the legal team or Trump in his personal capacity. Silence about the pandemic while shouting on Twitter about the rigged election that wasn't, and insisting 2020 is a long way from over. Today in Pennsylvania, with his attorney Rudy Giuliani, walked right into the crowded event today in defiance of CDC quarantine guidelines. And began spreading misinformation. If they can just enter 600,000 some odd mail-in ballots without allowing a single Republican to to view it, what's to say that next time they won't do a million or two million? I know crooks really well. You give them an inch and they take a mile, and you give them a mile and they take your whole country. But the president just couldn't stay away. Calling in with more false claims. This election was rigged, and we can't let that happen. We can't let it happen for our country. 
and this election has to be turned around because uh, we won Pennsylvania by a lot and we won all of these swing states by a lot. Rudy Giuliani lead the legal sideshow in person, but not in court or even at the state capitol, but instead at a hotel. 一名熟知美国选举法的律师道出了其中奥妙。People at home want to understand what's happening. They shouldn't look at what the president's saying on Twitter or what his allies are saying on television. They should look at what's being said in the courtroom under oath. When the Trump campaign can no longer puff or lie, they've come up with really no proof、uh, that would overturn this election result. 即使如此，致力于推翻川普政权的林肯计划说，川普还能有这一招。In 2016, Donald Trump won Michigan by 10,700 votes. It was the closest race in Michigan presidential history. As prescribed in the Constitution, the Michigan presidential electors voted to give the state's electoral votes to Donald Trump. In 2020, Joe Biden won Michigan by 153,000 votes. It was not a close race, but now Donald Trump is attempting to steal the election by demanding that Michigan presidential electors vote for him. It's illegal and un-American. Trump has summoned Republican Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirkey and House Speaker Lee Chatfield to meet at the White House. His goal: demand the Michigan Legislature throw out the election results and appoint presidential electors loyal to Donald Trump. The Republican Party of Michigan must decide if it is loyal to America and our Constitution or to Donald Trump. All America is watching. The world. Is watching. Will they go down in history as good citizens who did their duty, or traitors who attempted a failed coup? Taizhengfu, One Zhongtian, Yanlun Zhiyou Yi Si, Xinwen Zhiyou Yi Si. Please click on the bell to get notified.